Hey there, Laura here. Today I am going to do a collab with Bree from Purple Pink Red. And we've both been buying a few of the Colourpop 9 pan eyeshadow palettes. And we decided we would like to combine a couple and do a look. So we decided to do the Strawberry Shake, which isn't part of their monochromatic colour series, but it is a 9 pan palette and the Orange You Glad palette because these two I think will go together really well and they're also two of my favourite colours. Now I'm still recovering from whatever weird bug we got and now my throat's all weird so my voice is all weird, sorry. <coughs> and I might cough a bit through it. So this is what they look like together. And I think they will complement each other very well. So that's what we're going to do. And um, if you don't know Brie, then I will put her in the cards. I always forget. Um, I keep swapping rooms and then I forget which way. I'll put her in the cards and I will um, put her down below. And please go and check out Brie and follow her. She is a lot of fun to watch and she does lots of different kinds of things on her channel. And she's getting into colour a lot more, so I'm enjoying playing with colour with Brie. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and so I'm going to start off with some pink. And I need a brush. I've just washed all my brushes, so all my brushes are clean. And I'm going to start off with the Strawberry Shake palette, and I'm going to go at right in the middle here with the Take a Sip colour, which has got an asterisk on it, which means it's not suitable for the immediate eye area. And it's got little glitters in it, but I don't think you'll see those. And that's because of the type of dye that's used in it, and some people can have a reaction to that. It's not just about staining, it's some people actually get irritated eyes from that particular product. But only minor irritation and it goes away when you stop using the product apparently. Look how pink that is. I feel like I'm wearing the wrong colour because I'm wearing red. I thought the peach and the red would go together, but I don't know about the pink and the red. <laughs> now, what do we want to blend that out with? It could go pink or it could go orange, but I th think I will go with woke, which is in the strawberry shake palette. And Brie lives in Australia, so she is our nearest neighbour because I am in New Zealand. So for us to get Colourpop, we have to buy it online. Can't get it in store or anything. And it's also um, shipping costs a bit, so if you don't want to pay shipping, with Colourpop you have to buy $50 worth US dollars worth of stuff to get free shipping. So I think Bree's like me, we would rather wait until there are a few things we want and then buy something that means we can get free shipping. <laughs> and I think I might, I might just go in with a little bit of zested out of the orange palette. I'm just going to call it the orange palette and the strawberry palette because otherwise it's just too many words. It's not as light as I was thinking. That's okay. Let me see how the, that peachy colour and the pink blend so nicely together. Which is why they've put it in this palette anyway. <laughs> now. I want to go in with Sunkissed 
head of the orange palette. And Brie is such a sweetie and she is very real on her channel. So she shares quite a lot about her life and what she does and how she feels about things. So you get to know her really well and you get to feel like you're just, you know, sitting down with a friend. You're watching a video, but you're sitting down with a friend, you're not... It's not someone trying to sell you something or just trying to grow on YouTube. She just... she's there having fun with her makeup, but also just being a real person and talking to us and looking to make connections, and I love that. That's, that's why I'm on YouTube. I'm looking to make connections, meet people who like the same kind of things I like, and chat with them. So I love those colours together. It's really pretty. So the next colour I want to go into hmm, I'm contemplating. I might go in with Daiquiri. And that kind of ties in the red that I'm wearing a bit more. And Daiquiri was out of the Strawberry Shake palette. So it's a bit more of a reddy pink than a bluey pink, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so this pink is definitely pink, but this one is more of kind of a rusty, reddy pink. And I haven't done my face makeup, as you can tell, so it doesn't matter if I don't quite get the shape right on the outside here because I can clean that up. I think it was a comment I made on Prue from Prue LaRue's channel. Or it could have been something that she said on Instagram in one of the chats or something. Or I can't quite remember now because my memory is like I said, I don't remember anything. I have to write everything down. And um, she was saying how when you're in chats and things, it can be quite difficult because people take the way you say things wrong. And I think um, Australians and New Zealanders have quite a sort of sarcastic kind of sense of humour. So I get what she's getting at. And, and Brie and, and I as well get what we're saying because we have that same kind of weird sense of humour that comes out and um, not everyone gets that so I can totally get why Prue was sort of saying oh, some people just don't I don't like in, being in chats like that with a whole group of people because things get misunderstood so easily so I'm always aware of that when I'm chatting that if I'm going to make some kind of sarcastic -y comment I try and make sure the person I'm making it to will get that it's like, it's funny, it's not serious. <laughs> the, yeah, so Kitty J have a, gets me in that way too. That she, I can make sarcastic comments to her and she understands that, that it's just funny, it's not serious. <laughs> so it's nice to find like-minded people and um, Brie is like that too. She's, she's like, me. I, I get what she's talking about in chats and things. I can get the the humour and I also get the you know, the bit of shyness about you know because I, I'm quite shy too. It it's amazing how many shy people come on YouTube because you're not actually talking to someone in person, basically you're talking to yourself but it doesn't feel like that. It's, it's a very weird process. So I just went in with Delish and just put a little bit up here from the Strawberry Shake palette. 
I'm sort of thinking aloud as I go along with in terms of what I'm doing on my face because I'm not entirely planned out. I have an idea, but that's all. Okay, I think I'm going to go in Mimosa Mammy. My voice is going all croaky, sorry. Uh, hang on. I'm going to put my orange liner in Puppy first to make sure that it sticks properly. Probably quite unusual in the way that I do my makeup at the moment because I do my eyes first, but I also do most of my under eyes before I do my foundation because then I can be messy and I can just clean it up and do finishing touches at the end. So it doesn't matter if I get form out. So now I'm going over it with the Mimosa Mammy. I love these colours. These, these are so summery and well it's actually spring here now. All the daffodils and things are out and the tulips are coming out. And I like wearing these kind of colours in spring. I like wearing peaches and oranges and the soft pinks. And, and greens of course, but we're not doing green today. <laughs> and what do I want to put on next? I think I'm going to go back into Take a Sip here. Going to add a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Mimosa Mammy and Take a Sip makes a beautiful colour. It's like very bright peach. That is gorgeous. I think I might do that in between this colour and this colour. I shall mix those two together. Oh, I love that shade. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? And it's a perfect transition colour. That's so pretty. I'm going to go in and deepen this bit again. So I'm going to go back into Daiquiri from the Strawberry Shake palette, which was that one. Basically, I've only used two brushes so far because I just keep wiping it off. So I'm actually using the Chi Chi brush that I got in the palette and it's a double ended brush and I've used the Models Prefer brush for blending out the top bit. So I've been very... <laughs> Does anyone else find that when they've just cleaned their brushes they don't like to use too many because it's like, but they're all clean and I don't want a whole lot of dirty brushes again. <laughs> I get over it after a day but... The first day, it's like, let, let's see how few brushes I can use. And now, hmm, I think I want to go in with, okay, I'm just swatching now, hang on. Oh, all three of those would work. <laughs> so that was, um, this one here was very fine from the strawberry shake palette and this one here was squeeze me from the orange palette and this one here is tangerine dreams they would all work on my lid so now I have to decide which one I'm going to use I think I'm going to start off with very fine because that had a little bit more of peachy look to it and I'm going to put that there over that colour that we made and I don't want 
tons of it. So I'm not trying to get a, a big shimmer. I'm just getting a little suggestion. And then I'm going to go in with Squeeze Me, which is this one here. So I'm, I'm using it sparingly, so that's why you can't see a whole lot on my face. And then I think I want to go in with Tangerine Dreams and do the inner corner. I'm not sure if this is going to be light enough, but it's a gorgeous colour. So I'm going to wrap that around. I have been so looking forward to doing this collab with Brie because I so wanted to play with these two palettes together so I was really happy when she said she wanted to, to do this with me. Now I'm going to go into Delish out of the Strawberry palette because I just want it a little bit brighter here. So I'm going to just put that on the top. Yep, that's going to work I think. And then I'm going to go in with... Now, I'm not sure if I want a purple or cranberry. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, so I've been really looking forward to doing this, and I haven't been filming just lately because I've been sick. And so is everybody else in the household. My poor Melissa, I'm just going to put this, what is this? It's the LA Girl Glide On Eyeliner in Paradise Purple. I'm just going to put this here. Now, so I haven't been filming, so I have got a huge list of videos I want to do. Various collabs and some people have been waiting for a while because we've been having a bit of a hard time <laughs> between various people being sick in various ways and then we all came down with this particular bug that knocked us all and um, now I've put my hip out because I had to spend a couple of days in bed not entirely I got up and did things but I spent a lot more time resting than normal and my hip doesn't like resting it likes being active and so it decided it was going to go out and so now I've got a sore hip as well so I'm hoping it'll go back in but all settle down but I might have to go to the chiropractor to sort that out. So now I'm going to take it, shake it up from the strawberry palette and I'm going to go over that purple liner. So really I could have probably used the cranberry shade. I'm going to work it in. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't sure what that was going to do colour wise. I'm not putting my hand over the microphone so that it's all crackly. And now, before I do my face, I am going to get some glitter glue. And I'm going to the, use the Not Eye Safe glitter in the orange palette because I'm a rebel and I'm just going to put it right here so I just want a little bit I don't want a whole lot so I'm going to use this clementine colour this is very pretty glitter but I don't want tons of it, so there's actually quite a lot on my finger there. <sighs> I'll rub some of it off. Because I just want a little suggestion. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. And just brush off any that isn't stuck on there. 
just so we get a little little sparkle when I turn my head. I'm going to tight line. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on my waterline yet, so I think I'll do my face makeup and then I'll come back and decide that. So I have put my face on and I used the Laura Geller blush in Tropic Hues that Kaylee Wesley gave me and it's the perfect colouring for this eye look I think because it's kind of a, it has a sort of apricot -y pink, well coral pink, is that what you call it? Kind of shade sheen to it so it just shows up really nicely and it echoes the colors that I've used in my eyes so that's perfect for that and I've been really enjoying using that Kaylee and the other thing I used that Kaylee also gave me was the butter bronzer and this one is in Sunkist so I used that as my bronzer today which I'm also really enjoying and I used the Pixie by Petra Rose Gold Blush Duo and I just used I just used this side and it's kind of like a, a dark champagne highlight and that went really nicely as well and then I sprayed my face and now I'm going to go in the Strawberry Shake, Shake palette and get just a little tiny touch of delish and just do the top here as my top highlighter just for a little pop to add a little bit more pink in there and then just give it a little buff I always got to do just a little bit extra highlighter because I like highlighter. So, did I decide what I'm going to put in my waterline? I'm really tempted to go green. As long as I'm doing green today, I'm really tempted to put green in my waterline. Let's see if it'll show up. I'm going to use my LA Girl Glide On gel in limelight I like that here and I need some mascara so for lipstick today I'm going to do a weird combination and I have no idea whether it's going to work or not because the colour I want I no longer own because my daughter borrowed it and left it at a friend's house <laughs> I'm going to try my Melting Pot 125 by CoverGirl. As far as I know, they don't have any names, they just have numbers. So it's a liquid gel lipstick and it just gives a nice kind of tint. It's almost like a stain if you don't use too much of it. Now I could just leave it there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use my Rimmel, no, my NYX, my NYX Butter Lipstick in Lollies. And this is really pale, so I'm hoping the dark colour underneath will. Yeah. 
because if I put this on what on its own, it's way too pale for me, but. It's more pink than I was planning. I think I wanted something a bit more corally, but it blends in with my red anyway. <laughs> and here is my finished look, now that I've got my earrings on. <laughs> And thank you so much, Brie, for collabing with me. I absolutely loved playing with these two palettes together, and I hope you will really enjoy playing with them too. So go check out the wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous Brie, and I will link her video down below for you, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.